I am just looking through all these new options because I haven't been on a live in a while. There's all these new notifications. I don't know what they're about. Hi, hi, hi. Love your vids. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it's a little early for my West Coast people, but I feel bad for people on the East Coast or overseas where it's like super late, which I'm sure a lot of people aren't here, but I'm sorry. You've helped me sleep in my anxiety so, so much. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hey, how's your day going? My day's good. My day's good. It's been kind of like a lazy... <laughs> it's been good. Hi, Anna! Now I'm shy. Oh. <laughs> Sending love from the UK. Thank you for your videos and being yourself. Thank you. Oh, I don't have a necklace on. I feel naked. Thanks. I'm East Coast. I appreciate it. Of course. What are your pronouns? She, her. I need a necklace. Hold on. <laughs> I need to go see you, Anna. I miss you. Girl, I have missed you. Where have you been? I've been here. I'm sorry. I'm new to being spiritual and crystals. Any tips? Also, I love your videos. Um, if you are new, just go with the flow. Honestly, in the beginning, it's really fun because you just kind of have to like listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, and um, it's fun to like learn as you go. I, in the beginning, was kind of just like doing stuff, and then I would research on it later, and I was like, oh, that's why I did that. I know what I feel. I know what I feel when I watch videos, but I'm curious to know what you feel. Um, what I feel when I do Reiki. I miss you too. Soon, soon. Yes, soon. Can you do self love video soon? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. freak out when I don't have my crystals so I just leave them in my backpack I have like a whole bunch just like chilling in my backpack because <laughs> I always take my backpack I never catch your lives well I'm glad that you're here um when I do Reiki uh it depends um everybody's different did you dye your hair yes I did it's more purple but um when I do Reiki I feel a lot of tingles sometimes I get really like sleepy and tired it just kind of depends on the person and their energy i feel what you wait i f i feel what your energy feels like if that makes sense it probably doesn't but um if you have very tiring energy very low energy um like if i i've had clients before that like i'll release stuff for them and then i start burping and they'll be like oh yeah i was just burping i'll have like a knot in my throat if i know that their throat chakra needs work like it'll literally feel like i can't swallow <laughs> i can't talk you know um i've gotten like stomach aches i've gotten dizzy it kind of just depends um when i feel auras because i don't see auras i feel them so it's just like i get like tingles i feel tingles wherever i put my hands and usually i have to like go in and out to tell how far out your aura is because some people their aura is like way right here which is really bad and some people are like wow your aura is way over here which is really good but then sometimes too far out is bad here which is really bad and some people are like wow your aura is way over here which is really good but then sometimes too far out is bad here which is really bad and some people are like wow your aura is way over here 
which is really good. But then sometimes too far out is bad. What else was I saying? I don't see auras. Not everybody can see. When it comes to like your clair senses, not everybody has them. Not everybody is able to do them as easily as other people. Like I feel like that was the first thing like I've always felt, but I just never knew what I was feeling. I just thought like, I don't know, my hand fell asleep. <laughs> but some people just see it easily. I, you can train yourself to see, but I just don't have the patience for that. What crystals are your favorites and why? I love fluorite. Fluorite is my favorite. I absolutely love fluorite. I have like almost every shade right now. I have like the, here watch. I have purple, I have green, I have blue. I just got this lavender one. I just got the blue one too and the purple one. Um, I don't have any more out right here but I have the one that has like it's like this but it's a deeper blue purple green whatever color I have a lot of crystals I have a lot of crystals in general but fluorite I just I love fluorite let's see if I can put everything back When booking a session with you, what does the healing past trauma one mean? That one, I think you're talking about the soul fragments. Um, the soul fragment session isn't a Reiki session. It's a session where I talk to you. I send you voice notes and I tell you what to say. It's kind of something that you do yourself, but I walk you through it. And it's like you go through these past traumas in your mind and you deal with them we heal them and then at the end I like wrap you up in a little bit of Reiki energy you know like or a wrap real quick that I send to you but that's about it how much was your fluorite tower Ooh, girl which one I have so many fluorite towers I have more but the big one was probably like 20 something I can't remember any help on crystal crystals appearing out of nowhere i've heard that's like fairy stuff i don't accept those i don't know i heard fairies are the fae is like something that you need to be prepared for i'm not into that kind of stuff i'm not into that side of the spirituality stuff like witchcraft and like fairies and stuff like that i'm not like super into it. i'm not against it or anything you know it's cool it's just not what i i like to do <laughs> found myself and my happiness after watching your vids i finally love myself <laughs> that makes me so happy adore your healing content and replay it in my head as a happy place and tough work moments oh thank you omg i always miss your lives and i'm so glad <laughs> i'm so glad i'm here <laughs> what do you want what do you ask for when you get your lashes done uh this is this is just a volume set um, it's kind of like a cat eye, I think, because it's like low, it's like little, and then it goes out longer at the ends. So it's kind of like a cat eye. I don't know. I just asked for a volume set. I had hybrids, but I didn't like them. They weren't full enough for me. The green tower, angels. I I believe in angels. I don't really communicate with them or with spirit guides. It's very very rare. That I have or do or I don't know I don't even know if I really do sometimes I feel like I do so I don't know that kind of stuff always like ah, freaks me out <laughs> but sometimes it's just so strong that I just have to say it when I'm feeling down I always look up your name just to calm me down oh that's so sweet the green tower I'm pretty sure was like 26 24 can you do, can you do more big mama tapping uh, I don't have nails. I mean, I do, but I feel like they don't tap as as well as my acrylics. But I can't have acrylics for a little while until I get some stuff taken care of. What are your pronouns? She, her. You, you do. By the way, I work with angels. I probably, I have always thought I did, but I, you know, I have no confirmation in that. So thank you. That's my confirmation. 
Hi from Scotland, you've helped me through so much. Yay, I'm so glad. Do you do Reiki on your family? I've done Reiki on my mom when I was training one time. Um, I haven't done it to my son because I want him to ask me type of thing. I don't want to just like push it on him. He always watches me though. And he's always like trying to do it with me. And I'm like, calm down, sit, sit over there. <laughs> I love your new hair color, you're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it, you can't really tell it right now, but I have it up. <sighs> Sorry if I look crazy, hold on. My eyes itchy and I just got these done today, so I'm trying not to touch them, but. Archangel Metaron, who's that? I've never heard of that one. I've always heard of like the basic ones, well not basic ones, like the more common ones I guess. I need to stop being disrespectful. Love your videos, they always uplift me, keep spreading positivity. Thank you! Hey love, hi! <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna be on here for like at least an hour or two. So I haven't decided. What I'm gonna do I'm either gonna do live Reiki I might do some readings we'll see because yeah, I feel I feel a lot better today I was gonna go live yesterday but I just didn't I had like after doing the heart chakra sample video I like I was done for the day I couldn't my heart chakra needed a lot of healing yesterday so I had to focus on that that's why I didn't hop online he is your archangel look him up Ooh, send me the name again who was it? Met Met Metaron? Archangel Metaron? That's interesting. I've always felt like there was one around me, but I've always, like, I, I just always assumed it was um, Michael, but I was like, no, nah, that don't feel right. Your videos have really helped me through these few days due to stress, and I've slept better too. Yay! I love that. What nails have you got today? I have these, but they're, like, all super stained from my hair. <laughs> and they're my, my real nails. It's just gel. But you could see like the yellow is like all faded and then that's supposed to be white, but it's like orangey pink now. Hey, I watch your TikToks on YouTube almost every day. Love them. Hi from the UK. Yay! Do you ever go to San Francisco? I was in San Francisco like a month ago. Hi from Sweden. Hi. You're the only reason I sleep. Oh, you guys make me so happy. <laughs> like touches my soul. Mm. you're so pretty thank you I'm a Taurus 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 oh. where, where did that one lady go she told me what, who my, my, my archangel was uh, Metaron okay I found it I found it sorry Archangel Metaron there she is is there any Anna, are you still watching me? You creep. <laughs> Is there any Reiki for healing migraines? I've done some in the past. I haven't in a while though. I'm gonna do some new ones. And you've given me a lot of healing in my life, so thank you. Oh. Lots of love from Norway. I love your lashes. Thank you. Your videos are amazing. Thank you. I almost put that on top of my <laughs> I don't tell your mom I said hi and I love her and I miss her and I hope that she recovers fast your videos put me to sleep every time I love you oh thanks where's everybody from I want to see where everybody's from there's not that many people in here but just listening and reading <laughs> it's good with helping clearing people's energetic field so he works with you oh you know I've always because when I do my Reiki it's funny that you say that because when I do my Reiki I call in the person that I'm working on angels ancestors spirit guides and then I call in on mine also to help with the session and I always feel my brother with me and then I always feel somebody else but I never knew who it was so now that makes sense Scotland Mexico Germany San Fran Wales England <gasps>
Germany, Poland. Oh, I got all my across the ocean peoples on here today. North Carolina, all my East Coast. Well, a couple from the West Coast. California, Sweden, England. San Fran, Kentucky. She said she loves you and misses you and thank you. I'll go visit soon, I promise. <laughs> I always say I'm gonna go visit and then I don't. I'm such a liar. <laughs> Kentucky, Indiana. Wow, I got a lot of people from all over. That would be him. So glad I could clarify that for you. Love you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Because I always did feel like something else was around me, but I never knew. And I feel I feel like it's it's sometimes, especially when I focus, like when I really, really, really focus, like I feel um, that kind of stuff. I'm like, <laughs> like I don't want to know, but I do want to know. <laughs> England, Florida. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Scotland. I need to start getting on earlier for all my people across the oceans and on the east coast because I know a lot of you miss someone because I usually do like super late ones. Where can I buy an Elvira? I got Elvira off of Etsy but I do not recommend etsy because they like super overprice everything on there like um let me see i don't know where she went i don't even know where big mom is at hold on oh okay so this is big mama right i paid i think she's 60 so i paid like 60 bucks for big mama or I think she's worth six. I can't remember. Something around there. And then this is Elvira. I paid $100 for Elvira. $100. I love her, but damn, she's expensive. And this was like 60, maybe 50 bucks. So it kind of like, it depends where you go, who you go to who you buy from but i've noticed that on um on etsy everything is super super pricey on etsy so it's like you can go there but i don't recommend going there <laughs> okay so big mama i felt so bad so i tried polishing big mama and uh yeah she has a bunch of scratches now because i don't think i use the right stuff or i need some kind of like finisher to like complete the polish she's not all like scratchy anymore but i don't know if you guys can even see can you guys see all these scratches no probably not hold on let me get out of the way i don't know if you could see but i hella scratched her and i feel so bad and i was like i was like it'll get better it'll get better <laughs> And it didn't get better. <laughs> I'm just glad she doesn't feel all rough anymore. But, but I mean, she's still here. She's intact. And she kind of got a little baby polish. So, where do you recommend buying crystals from? Um, what's her name? Her name is I Like Your Eyeball. I Candy Crystals is where I am. Can I make a comment? No, I can't. Can I? Yeah, I can. Nope. Oh, I thought I could write a comment, I guess. But it's I Candy Crystals. Just, I tagged her in one of my, my crystal haul video that I just posted a couple days ago. That she's, I've never bought so many crystals from one person. Do you teach or mentor for Reiki? No, I don't. I plan to in the future, but as of right now, no, I don't. Can you push some symbols with Elvira today. Yeah, I can. I can, I can. Let me big mama right there. I'm actually gonna use some Bala real quick because I don't, I don't feel... Thank you for being a part of my journey of finding myself and my happiness. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. You, you all do not understand how much that means to me. I love that I can help people feel more comfortable with things or to help you. Because honestly, I don't heal people. I help people heal themselves. So it's nice to know that I could be that. Whoa. 
my ashes. I need to freaking turn off my fan, I guess. Uh, when did you start doing Reiki? Last year in October, I believe. Yeah, October. Wow, it's almost gonna be a year. That's crazy. You've helped me so much with my anxiety. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. No, thank you. I can only do so much. I can only do so much for all of you. So it takes you wanting to heal and it takes you doing what is necessary or accepting and being able to let go. Because I could tell you to let go all day long. I could tell you to heal all day long, but it's still up to you to do it with or without my help. And it's still a really great accomplishment whether you do it by yourself or whether you allow me to help you. You should still be proud of yourself. Oh, that's a cool. Has all manifested itself, so thank you for that. Yay, I'm so glad. I love it when people come back and tell me like, oh my God, your reading was, your reading came true or your reading was so spot on. Do you teach or mentor or recommend a Reiki class? Um, I recommend my Reiki master. I don't know if she's teaching again, though. Um, I know she wants to teach, but I do not personally teach as of right now. My phone needs cleansing because <laughs> people be pissing me off. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> But I personally do not right now. Are there any potential negative effects of carnelian? I don't think any crystals have negative effects. I've never heard of that. Carnelian is really good for anxiety though. I know that. And for like confidence. And if you are trying to get pregnant, it's also good, I believe. It's like helps with your fertility or something like that. been bugging me to do a freaking line forever now because my mom made herself my PR rep or whatever you call it <laughs> lashes are always so beautiful thanks so much from the bottom of my heart I will always support you oh thanks I really appreciate that I really really do because I have my days where I'm like, I should just stop doing this. This is not going to go anywhere for me. I'm not even helping people. Like, I get in my head. I'm a human being. You know, nobody's perfect. You really helped me start my spiritual journey. Yes! I love that I could be that for somebody. Because we all have to start somewhere. And I know it could be scary, especially because some people out there do it wrong or people out there make it seem like it's scary or people that have bad experiences because they didn't do their homework before starting to do some kind of spiritual stuff. You should always do your homework or follow your instincts at least. Don't follow what other people do, especially if it doesn't feel right to you. I subscribed to your YouTube channel, then found you on TikTok. Oh, how cool. It's usually the other way around. Most people find my YouTube from my TikTok, but I'm starting to notice that people are finding me more on YouTube and coming to my TikTok, so that's really cool. Could you explain the science behind crystals? Like, how do they work exactly? I'm intrigued. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know about the sciences. Um, I just know that they have, like, their own specific properties because they're made in the earth, you know, the they come from the earth, they they have certain energies within them i don't know exactly how it is that they work i don't think that you buying a crystal is necessarily going to fix all your problems that you have but it's just i feel like it's more of like um like a reminder for you to release to let go of things like if you get yourself a cleansing crystal you're gonna be like okay let me let me get rid of all this negativity and that's something that you go out of your way to do that you normally don't do yeah, you came up on my recommended that I fell in love with your vids. Oh, thanks. Rocking the new nose ring. Oh, I know. I should turn off. Show y'all my good side. I'm just kidding. I can't wait to fall asleep to the new video. Oh my god. Okay, making that video. <laughs> I got so tired. 
hence why I fell asleep last night while uploading it. Like, you could tell at the end of the video, I'm, like, struggling to keep my eyes open. Can you explain the chakras? Yes. Okay. So, throughout our body, we have a ton of chakras. Not just the seven. We have seven main chakras. But then you also have other chakras. Can you do a tattoo tour? <laughs> I got some in places that should not be shown to the world. <laughs> but chakras, going back to chakras. <laughs> Let me not get distracted. So we have seven main chakras and we also have other ones. Like you have chakras like in between your knees, like at your elbow, like above your head, below your feet. We have those chakras also. And throughout our other, like there's other little ones throughout our body. But we have seven main ones. So it's the crown chakra. It's at the top of your head crown of your head and that is your connection to the higher power to your highest potential to um to being able to see things is, is really what it is but it's more of like opening up your eyes to spirituality to what you believe in you know your your unique gifts your unique talents all that kind of stuff then you have your third eye your third eye chakra is an energy point but then you also have a third eye that allows you to see ghosts and stuff apparently but i don't i don't do that <laughs> that has nothing to do with with reiki with chakras your chakra is just an energy point and unblocking your third eye chakra is not going to make you start seeing ghosts you're not going to start hearing things bump in the night it's just that you um follow your intuition you you know things you um trust in yourself you believe in yourself all that stuff that's what the third eye chakra has to do with now you have the throat chakra also i'm going in order from top to bottom so then you have your throat chakra throat chakra allows you to communicate positively it allows you to communicate in general um it has a lot to do with like expressing yourself talking about yourself talking about your emotions your feelings just anything having to do really with speaking or expressing yourself freely the heart chakra is obviously in your, your heart area and the heart has to do with feeling your emotions which sometimes it hurts but you know we gotta we gotta feel them um and that's there that's kind of like the color order too i don't know if you see because it's purple the purple is for the crown the bluish ones are for the darker blue one or like indigo color is for your third eye and then throat chakras are a light blue or dark blue and then the green is for your heart so the heart's about feeling your emotions about loving yourself about dealing with your self-love your comfort or not really your confidence your confidence is more your solar plexus but your heart just has a lot to do with that with like your self-worth like being worthy of love of um feeling your solar plexus is right above your belly button, like maybe two inches above your belly button. And that one is the yellowish color, or like an orangey yellow color. And that one, oh no, it's the yellow color, because orange is sacral. Sorry, I'm getting lost. The yellow one is your solar plexus. I'm going off of the stones that I use on my little things personally. So anyways, the yellow one is right above your belly button. It's two inches above your belly button. That has to do with like your confidence. Um, that's where you push your emotions down. If you don't feel them, you push them down to your solar plexus. What makes you have like stomach aches too, all of that stuff. Um, but it's mostly your confidence, your, um, there's another one I can't think of right now though. I'm drawing a blank. Um, and then the orange one is your sacral. Your sacral has to do with like your sexual organs, your intimacy issues, your uh, sexual identity. Uh, what else? There's another one. I can't remember. There's something else, but it's like about your sexuality. And then the root chakra is what keeps you grounded. And it has to do with like your purpose, your knowing that you are here on earth right now. Knowing that you're grounded, that you're rooted, living in the present moment. Okay, I think. Sorry, I just rambled. Uh, there was a couple other questions. Do you need to have a sort of diploma to be a master in Reiki and where do you learn it? It's not a diploma, it's um it can there can there is diplomas out there. There's people that like 
take college courses for it, I guess. I don't know. I've heard. I actually got approached to do a college course thingy or to help them plan out a college course thingy. And I was like, yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> and no, I'm okay. But uh, it just seemed like a scam. But um, you need to find a Reiki master to teach you. They have to be a Reiki master to teach you. You can't be taught by somebody that is not a Reiki master. And they have to attune you four times. So you should not perform reiki on yourself or anybody else without being attuned properly by a reiki master and i believe it's reiki one is for you to do it on yourself you get that attunement and then reiki two is when you could do it to other people and you have to get that attunement also root root and crown are two of my favorites for focus sessions yes root and crown chakra are very important i always start either at the crown or the root sometimes the root if somebody really feels off balance to focus on a session or just depending how they tell me that they're feeling not a question but your sleep videos are amazing thank you can i ask how the use of technology through your videos affects the crystal powers and reiki session i personally do not know the answer to that that's just what my reiki master was taught and what she told me she said that it's like um the energy or the electronics give off certain things that will mess with the energy it doesn't completely like you know get rid of it but it does like either weaken it or like manipulates it basically is what it is that's that's what it's not like a for sure fact it's just kind of just you know whoever taught them or whoever whatever believed that and that's what they passed along so i don't think there's like specific proof behind that thing that's just what i was taught what i was told so i just you know i say it just to make sure that you know because i always have people like i didn't feel anything or oh my god i feel something and like oh you're just feeling asmr so it's like i'd rather just not deal with people like that hi from chicago hi Are any of my giveaway winners? I feel like that. I feel like you were a giveaway winner. Where are my giveaway winners? Cause um, I had somebody message me, and they told me that the boat giveaway, the lady was being a little, the lady was being a little weird, and I feel really bad about that. Where on the body are the red and the orange chakras? The red one is your root chakra, and that's like at the base of your spine, and the orange chakra is two inches like below your belly button. And that's the sacral chakra. Yes, that was me. Oh, okay, I can't, I, I, your name looked familiar. I just feel really bad about that. That made me really upset, especially because I got mine and then she like completely switched how you all would receive your boats. So it just kind of made me mad. <laughs> Hi, Queen Roulette. <laughs> I love being called master. I can't wait to teach so I can have everybody call me master and sensei. <laughs> I know, I just, I feel bad still because it's like, it didn't have to be that complicated. need to be more careful i figured it would be okay because she contacted me through the tiktok marketplace or whatever where people reach out to content creators when i accept a healing do i have to do it out loud no you do not you could say it to yourself you could whisper it you could say it out loud you could say it in your head you don't have to as long as you your you yourself know that you're accepting it that's fine can you teach others to do Reiki? Yes, I can because I'm a master. So I can teach other people. I just have it. I know, right? I started it. Don't forget me. <laughs> I won't forget you. Your voice is so soothing. Thanks. That's funny. I think one of my friends had seen somebody had commented on that. And they're like you you're so loud i'm like i know i can be loud but 
Is it possible to live from Reiki? I'm confused by the question. Is it possible to live from Reiki? I might do readings. I need to check. Oh wait, my phone's over here. <laughs> How do you prepare for a Reiki healing? Um, I ground myself. I do my meditation every morning. You are Anna. <laughs> I am not. I am so shy and quiet all the time. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Like paying stuff and so. Oh, like live off of doing Reiki. Is that what you mean? Like make a living from it? What's your star sign? Yes? No, I'm not alive. Versus what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, yes, it is possible to make a living from it. I know people that do. Um, my Reiki master did for a little bit. But then, like, with the whole coronavirus stuff. Ha ha ha, y'all don't even know. <laughs> they don't know, and they're not going to find out, Anna. Where's your diffuser from? That is from Young Living. It's the Aria diffuser. not gonna do readings today i'm gonna try to get on another live and do readings but i'll do um live reiki do you do reiki on your baby boy no i don't i want him to ask me to when he understands more of it he watches me do it He, he thinks it's interesting and he tries to do it too. <laughs> Hi from Florida. Hi. Reiki, please, going through a lot right now, of course. <clears throat> How did you get into Reiki? I was interested in it. It came up on, I can't remember what it came up on, and I, like, didn't do much research on it, but I found it interesting, and then I had a session done, and I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Like, I felt, like, activated. <laughs> it's weird to say that, but I felt, yeah, that's how I felt. And then my mom's cousin actually was like I'm a Reiki master da, da, da. and I was like if you's a master you could teach me so <laughs> your videos have helped me get through so many bad days oh thanks okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of Reiki when you do the bowl music if we don't feel anything when you do those is that bad no it's not just sometimes you just don't feel anything sometimes you do sometimes you don't <laughs> Usually you feel something if um, if you need to work in that chakra area or if like you just connect with it, but it doesn't always happen. So. <sighs> oh, 
My hands always get so hot when I do Reiki. And especially right now in the summer, it was not fun. <laughs> content so much. Thank you so much for that. Of course, thank you for enjoying my content and giving me a reason to post more about it. Because I could just be doing this by myself. <laughs> so wow, you're so beautiful. Thanks. Mi corazón. <laughs> I think I have a filter on myself. I'm not sure. Who knows? I don't remember. I know you can on here. <sighs> Jordan, what time is it, babe? remind me so much of Callie Torres so many people tell me that and I just like my heart melts because she was my favorite on Grace and I was so sad when she left the show thank you yeah I was gonna do some I'm gonna do some plucking some um aura symbols with um Elvira See, like I can't, I can't tap like I used to. Cosa sad. Cosa sad. Cosa sad. Cosa sad. Yeah. Cosa sad. So you guys can't even hear that. But okay. If you want to accept the healing, you can do that, or you can just watch and just, you know, whatever. But you can either comment, you could say it to yourself, you could say it out loud, you could say it in your head, whatever is more comfortable for you. And just take a big deep breath if you do wish to accept. healing if you wish to receive it <laughs> if somebody said heal me I'm ready <laughs> There's always going to be people that say this doesn't work, that it's just ASMR, which is fine. If you believe it's just ASMR, I don't mind at all. As long as it helps you relax, makes you feel better, that's all that I really care about. Makes you more comfortable, helps you sleep, relieves any stress that you might have, takes away any negativities thoughts or emotions that no longer serve you and if you truly believe in the Reiki healing that's also great too because I do <laughs> here to change your mind about what Reiki is or whether it's real, whether you believe it works or not. I'm just here to help people feel better, to be able to sleep at night, to make people happier. If you feel things from only certain Reiki healers, it could either be because some of them are not attuned properly, some of them don't have the best intentions for you specifically, 
it's okay if some people connect to some Reiki healers and some don't. If you do not get a good vibe or a good connection with somebody doing anything spiritual, you should not work with them or allow them to touch you or your energy. You should be able to trust people that do energy work and you should feel a connection with them or at least comfortable with them. You should be able to trust them allowing somebody to work on your energy is a very great honor and I appreciate that whenever I have clients that allow me to when all of you accept my healing or feel comfortable enough with me I would never force my healing on anybody that was not comfortable with me that did not like my energy Everybody's different, everybody accepts different, everybody feels differently, and that's okay. Just need to be careful with who you let around your energy and how you feel. I will not be offended if you tell me that you're not comfortable with me or my practices or my energy, my vibes. I just want you to be comfortable. And I will not take that into offense, ever. And anybody that does, that does spiritual work, should not be allowed to work on anybody. Are you a Barb? I'm not like a full-blown Barb, but I do love me some Nikki. <laughs> Don't be me. I'm working. Can you change the color to something other than white? Yes, I can. first color that came to my head was pink so I'm gonna do pink okay anybody that does not like the flashing lights or cannot handle the flashing lights or the different colors close your eyes please I'm sorry I'll try to go slow <laughs> this is gonna make me sleepy Ooh, never mind I like lavender <laughs> I would do the red but it's gonna hurt my eyes and I gotta go drive after this so I'll do red next time, or I'll probably be posting a red video soon. I'm not sure. But... Is that better though? Is are we okay with the lavender? Mm -mm. I love lavender. Lavender lately has been like my my color. Even though I'm like more of a turquoise aqua girl, lavender has been like. Finding its way into my heart. because I get so lost and I can't read everybody's comments when I have hundreds and hundreds of people because I think I've had like 400 people once at once and I was like ah so my diffuser still has lavender and lemongrass in it that's been like my go-to lately I also use it during my Reiki sessions on my inner wrists I have like a roller ball and I put some on my wrists and I just and then I start my Reiki and a lot of my clients like it it helps them relax too and I make them take a big deep breath thank you I don't know if you can see them it's like yellow they're stained from my hair color though <laughs> just got gels. I can't have my acrylics for a little bit, so I'm letting them rest.
No, they're not glow in the dark. It's just what the um, what the ring light. The ring light always makes them look different. They're like yellow and pink, like a peachy pink color. I got this necklace in Hawaii. I've seen them other places though, but I got this specific one in Hawaii. Hi. <laughs> Starstruck. I've never heard of her. I'm gonna look her up. Yes, I am. I have to do a medical evaluation for my, my hand that I got injured. So I don't want them to say that I can't like make a fist because of my nails. So I want them... So I took the acrylics off and I just have my, my natural nails. Because I didn't want them to say that. My YouTube is the same name, just without the underscore. I don't see auras, I only feel them. No, I'm from California, but I was in Hawaii um, at the beginning of June, I went for, for a vacation. Is that Nikki in a bottle? <laughs> yeah. I have two of them. I have the Uni, the Onika one, and then I have the Pink Friday perfumes. Auras feel different to me depending on the person, but I usually get like tinglings or heat in my um my hands sometimes it like if it's really strong it'll radiate radiate up my arm but it's mostly like a tingling feeling like almost when you're when your hand goes to sleep but it's like literally just on my palm and um sometimes it's cold it's very rare that it's cold but it's usually warm or like a heat uh, my son's in the room with me Do healings for all sorts of things. Yes, I do. Um, Reiki can be focused on a specific intention, or you could just receive whatever comes to me personally, or I could focus on a certain thing for you. I get a lot of people asking for like confidence, for self love, for releasing negativity, stuff like that. But it just depends whether you just want to like go with the flow, see what happens, what comes up, or you could pick a specific one. Yes, I'm a Reiki master. Is mentally healing or physically healing harder to do? Uh, they're both hard, <laughs> but I feel like mentally mentally healing is harder because you can't see that wound when you physically heal you can tell when it's done healing but mental healing it's kind of like you have to figure out whether it's healed or not I studied Reiki from October to March so October of last year to March 
is how long it took me to go from Reiki 1 to Reiki Master. Reiki is just a natural form of energy healing. It's natural. I don't have like anybody that I praise to. It's not spirit. It's not um, religious in any way, shape, or form. If you are religious, you're able to incorporate your religion into Reiki. There are Christian Reiki practitioners out there. I'm not against anybody that is religious. It's just not something that I personally do and accepting Reiki from me it doesn't go against your religion either. It's not witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> Hi. I just have one. I feel like you're good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Not for my best friends. <laughs> they know all the dirt. Don't not tell me stuff if you don't want my best friends to know. <laughs> um, I had seen it pop up somewhere. I got a session done and I actually had a hot flying around outside when I walked up to get my Reiki session and the Reiki master that I went to go see was like, oh my god, look, a hawk followed you. And that made me more intrigued and then my cousin came out with, oh, I became a Reiki master. Let me know if any of you are interested in receiving Reiki from me and I was like, it's a sign. I need to be a master. crystals I kind of just intuitively pick them I also have my word crystals I don't know if, if, if you have me on my Instagram I post the crystal grids of my clients if they're okay with it I'm so proud of you thanks <laughs> I appreciate that especially from somebody that's known me for like almost my whole life so <laughs> Um, but the crystals, I, intu I intuitively pick them. I have word crystals that I um, pull for my clients also. And then I give them messages using that specific one. So like I have word crystals that say love, that say hope, that say trust, that say kindness. And I just give them a message of whatever comes to mind when I see that word. But I just intuitively pick them and I, I know I know what most of the crystals that I own are. I know there's a lot of crystals out there that I don't know what they're for, what the properties are for. Um, but I just intuitively pick them and sometimes I get the, I pick the stones before I even check your chakras and it's like, you feel like such a strong female role model to me. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. be fangirling on my freaking damn self <laughs> oh thank you Katie that's really sweet I appreciate that he's more of my best friend but <laughs> I do what I got to do
I don't teach him. Um, I will if he ever asks me to, like when he's older. But I don't teach him. I don't want to force my stuff onto him. And uh, he's a he's a Christian, so if he did, he would incorporate his religion into it. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think there's a crystal that will get your girl in the mood. <laughs> That's funny though. There might be. I don't know. You could try Googling. I don't know if it'll work though. <laughs> That's funny. Don't come for me if it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, my child is 11. Nothing. Bullet crystals would you recommend for a beginner? Clear quartz is a good beginner one. Um, rose quartz is a pretty good beginner one. Amethyst kind of just depends really what you're wanting it for. Amethyst is good for like anxieties, for helping you sleep. Rose quartz is good for self-love, anything really dealing with love. And then clear quartz is good for um, cleansing, for removing negativity. Black tourmaline is good for removing negativity, for protecting you from negativity. Smoky quartz eliminates negativity. Um, any kind of fluorite is really good for emotions. That's why I love it. It's good for... Um, like being able to process your emotions better and I am an empath so my BF has even started clicking like you <laughs> it's funny but I mean I personally don't like to tell people like oh this is this is the only kind of crystal you could get because you're a beginner if you feel called to get a specific stone whether you know what it is or not or what it's used for you should grab it um, cause like nine times out of 10, you'll get that crystal, you'll take it home, you'll research on the name, or it's sometimes crystal shops will give you like a little, um, a little piece of paper that tells you what the crystal is good for and you'll be like, wow, I needed this. So always listen to your intuition. Um, the girl that I buy from is Eye Candy Crystals. Uh, she's here on, um tiktok and then she's also on instagram i tagged her in my crystal haul video that i posted a couple days ago i think she ships out to the uk i'm not positive but i absolutely love her i've never bought so many crystals from one person before and i bought tons from her i really love her she has really fair prices she's very sweet very understanding she does a lot of live sales a lot of story sales but she's very very sweet and she's working on a on a shop i believe like an online shop so that you could just go and pick local crystal shops are good too if you find any just make sure that if you go in there and you have a bad vibe from the people there don't don't buy anything you should feel comfortable and safe and always listen to your intuition. If you have a bad vibe, you have a bad vibe and you need to get out. <laughs> you threw the crystals away? <gasps> yeah, no. There ain't no crystal that will get your your girl in the mood after you threw away that after you threw them away. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, I did upload one. I was supposed to upload it last night, but I fell asleep. So I uploaded it today, but it's already it's already on there. It's um, Deep Sleep with Big Mama, I believe. Or Big Mama Deep Sleep video. It's a new one on my YouTube.
how do we... <clears throat> oh, I missed it. Oh, did y'all hear my wrist pop? <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Do you think there's a reason I was called to it to the same crystal as Big Mama? Um, Big Mama is made out of selenite. Um, so maybe you just need more cleansing. I have a lot of selenite. Like this is selenite or satin spar, whatever you want to call it. Will you be putting this live on YouTube once you're done? Yes, I will. I don't always get that many views from it, but I will. I'll put it on there once it finishes um, downloading onto my, my TikTok thingy. I'll download it and put it on there for you, for anybody that does want to watch it. Do you do sound baths? No, I don't have... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> People in my house are loud. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the big singing bowls. I only have the little ones, so I don't do any sound baths. But that's definitely a future goal for me. I want the big ones, and I want to make sound bath videos. Any kind of fluorite is my favorite. I have so much of it. I have green, I have purple, I have blue, I have rainbow, I have lavender. <laughs> I, I have a lot of uh, jewelry that has either the crystals, like this one has a bunch of little crystals on it. Um, and I also have evil eye necklaces, evil eye um, jewelry. I have rings that have crystals um, it makes me feel better I don't specifically 100% know that it will alter the way that you feel or change things for you but it makes me feel better so I do Evil Eye is just, um, it's a bad luck charm type of thing that people put on you when they're jealous of you. Some people don't even do it intentionally. It's just when somebody envies you, when somebody really dislikes you, they could, like, send you, like, it's almost like when somebody is, like, literally dogging you out, like, they're sending you bad energy. They want bad on you, so... Or they could they could do it on purpose too so i have lots of evil eye stuff i have an anklet on right now i'd never take off my anklet i have um necklaces i have rings i had a bracelet where is my bracelet i haven't worn my bracelet in a while <laughs> but yeah What time is it, my love? What time is it? Love you, just what I needed today. Someone is sending me evil eye this week. It's been crazy. 5.58. 5.58, okay. People are crazy. Be careful. Oh, am I seeing Nikki perfume in the background? Yeah, I have two of them. Pink Friday and the Onika one. You think there is a reason I am called to send the light? <clears throat> I don't think there's a specific reason. It could just be that you need more cleansing in your life. Selenite's really cleansing. It's um, selenite is good to cleanse your other crystals with. So like, I just got. I have a little. I have this little. This right here is selenite. It's like a little flat thing, and I put my crystals on top to cleanse it. And then I also have this little bowl of selenite. And you, you know, and anything that you put in here is it's cleansed because of it being selenite. So this is tiger's eye, little mushroom. This, I believe, is like black. What is this? Can't tell in the purple light, but I think it's black, 
black obsidian. This is rose quartz. And this is green aventurine. And I think this one is like a black tourmaline. Or I can't tell if it's green or blue black. Bubble black. And see, I have a little ring with the crystal. I have an evil eye ring. I don't know if you can see. The little eyes. The little blue ones are the eyes. Let's see, there it is. But I just got this. I just got this one from the girl that I get all my crystals from. If you go to my videos and you go to the la the first one that says Crystal Hall on it, I tagged her. Something something troubadour born in 1964. How many piercings do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I've had more, but right now, like actually pierced, I only have eight. just wondering you wear the evil it's not the the eye itself is not an evil eye it's just it protects you from the evil eye so a lot of people call it the evil eye but like they call it an evil eye bracelet evil eye ring evil eye necklace but it's just because it protects you from an evil eye um i know it has a specific name for it but i can't think of that like the actual name but they just call it an evil eye because it protects you from it do you need a lot of sessions to heal or how does reiki work um it kind of depends how bad you are some people need it more some people need it more often everybody is different um it's just kind of depending how fast or how slow you want to heal things or how much you have to heal um, I always recommend at least once a month for people starting out. Nazar. Okay, see, I knew it was some, some weird name. But yeah, that's what it's actually called. Where do you recommend someone to go if they want to start getting into crystal energy? Um, I don't know. I don't know about crystal energy. I mean, I do, but like... Hi, love. Hi! <laughs> Your lashes look so good. Thanks. I just got them filled today and I went from hybrids to volumes because I just could not. Hi. What crystals do you find yourself using most? My fluorite. Fluorite and selenite. Selenite just because it cleanses all my other crystals, but I love fluorite. Love, 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 love fluorite. Okay, I'm going to turn the light back to white because my eyes are starting to hurt oh yeah because that makes it better i think i'm gonna pull cards i haven't i haven't played really with my cards how are you i'm good how are you i have them behind me so i have to move my well I have used it but I haven't used it on a live yet I have a mermaid oracle deck how do I charge my crystals um, on selenite under the moon in the sun can you tap on big mama um, I can't really tap right now because I don't have nails cosa sad um, so it doesn't sound as nice. At least I don't think it does. Hold on. Oh, can you hear it? I don't know if that. I don't know if that does it for you. I feel like it's not as loud. <laughs> I'll 
I feel like you can't hear that. I don't know. It's not as satisfying to me. But yeah, I have this mermaid oracle deck. Can you make a video about attracting love? I'm obsessed with your videos. Huh. I haven't done one about attracting love. I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna make it more broad to where it's either self-love or actual like relationship love. Just so that we're not always focusing on relationships. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> Who, Jordan? You're supposed to miss me, not Jordan. They miss me. Nobody misses you. <laughs> they miss me. Where did you get your music light fountain thing? I love it so much. My diffuser is from, um, what's it called? <sighs> Young Living. It's called the Aria diffuser. Thank you, thank you. I listen to your YouTube. Oh, I'm glad. These cards are not the easiest to shuffle. You're my favorite. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> both of you. Well, it better be both of us. The heck? I came first. You've known me since I was in second grade. Wow. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a lot of years. Um, I'm not going to do reading readings, but I'll pull a couple oracle cards because I want to show these. These haven't really gotten much use except for in a couple readings. So I'll pull a couple free oracle cards. Just need to shuffle them a little bit. I might do um, actual readings tomorrow. Uh -huh, okay, fair point. That's what I thought. Do you do private readings? Yes, I do. If you go to my TikTok bio, you can book one with me. It's on the, it, there's like a link and it'll take you to my booking app. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I actually hated my smile for so long. Like growing up, I really didn't like to. So I feel like I show my gums too much. So I'm like, I get a little self-conscious. I'm like, ew, stop showing your gums. But people always tell me they like my smile. So I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I guess she I. Does anybody want a free mermaid oracle card? I'll pull one and tell you what the little book says. Um, I didn't request anything for my lashes. That's for somebody. Uh, I just got a full set. I mean a volume set. But I think it's kind of like a cat eye look. First one was Jordan Kentner. Jordan Kentner. Jordan Kentner. What does Jordan Kentner need to focus on? What is something she needs to hear? Jordan Kentner. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. That's my child's name. Oh, there it is. still here? I think I saw she was still here. 
I just saw her. My ojos hurt. Where'd you go? Okay, Jordan. Jordan Katner or something like that it was. I think that was what your name was on here. Okay, there you are. So you got energy field adjustment. Very beautiful card. And it says aura cleansing and health. So you let you see that. Very beautiful card. I haven't seen that one yet. So let me look for it in my little book. I'm going to read you what it says. Mm, okay, are you ready for this one? It says, your body, your spirit, your mind, your emotions, all are in a complex and finely balanced relationship and all produce and emanate an energetic field which can be viewed by clairvoyance called your aura. Many people can sense this energy field around you too, and to a large extent, your energetic field will have a great impact on who you are attracting, what your health is like, where there are issues in your life, and what abundance experience you are drawing to yourself. This is really long, but... Let me see. The entire ocean field, a waterfall, the healing waters of a spring or lake or pool, all can care for your auric field. If you cannot find one to immerse yourself in, it is, if it is too cold, too far, too polluted, too whatever, then take yourself through a mermaid auric cleansing in your mind. We will guide you. So it's, it's really needing you to cleanse your aura in some kind of a body of water. Um, salt water is better but as long as it's a body of water you are being called to really cleanse your your energy field your aura because it affects a lot of things going on around you your health what you what you um like it said like what you bring into your life what you draw what you attract has a lot to do with your aura and i feel like it's saying that you need to cleanse it because maybe things haven't been going as well as usual. And it's saying for you to cleanse all of that stuff, all that yuckiness off of you. You could probably even do it like a shower cleanse and it'll be fine. But it's really wanting you to like submerge, submerge yourself in like a body of water and really just release a lot of negativity or a lot of um, energy that does not belong to you, that, does no, that no longer serves you to just release it. Yeah, it could be blocking you from that. If that used to happen and it doesn't happen anymore, it could be because you need to cleanse and release things so that you're not blocking yourself. That could be a really big thing needed. These are so pretty. Anybody else want one? something Woo. um not Meg <laughs> not Meg is who I chose oh some of these are really cool okay not Meg I'm gonna pull one so what does not Meg need to hear? What does she need to focus on? What is something that will benefit her? That the mermaids want to tell her. 
what do the mermaids want to say to not Meg? You know me, I love my mermaids. Oop, there it goes. Okay, not Meg. You got sisterhood. Friendships, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. So I feel like there's either been some struggles, some drama going on that needs to be taken care of. Somebody with a big ego that needs to be the bigger person also. Let me see, 41. Please hold. These are really long, so I'm just gonna like <sighs> message. Oh, sorry, I already said that one. Uh, the mermaids sing. We mermaids are so often like sisters. We are raised with each other and we bond closely to each other and create friendships that comfort, guide, stretch, and inspire us. We have an enormous family and we are rarely lonely because of this tendency to live in clan-like groups. Because we see no division between us and the sea creatures, we often form very close bonds with dolphins, duongs, turtles, and even the quiet Nautilus. We wish you to know that soon you will find your clan. There will be new friendships for you that feel like family and some of the friendships that some of the friendships you have formed in the past may become less strong and fall away gently and peacefully. You are changing yourself and becoming more true to who you are at this time and we applaud this. One of the side effects of this authenticity and truthfulness and embracing of your own self is that those who feel they know you may begin to question whether you are being yourself in time. Know that the new friendships you are stitching together have close bonds. So you have some really good new opportunities coming to you. It is time for you to bring your family, to find your family and to feel the support of your sisters, your brothers, your kin. You are not alone and you are also very worth loving. That one was really long, but I felt like I had to say more on that one. <laughs> so there's stuff going on with your friendships. It's okay. Allow it to happen because better people are going to come into your life. You are growing. You are changing and you need to embrace that. You're welcome. All right. Let's see. Next one. Who wants an oracle card? I love that there's no fighting because usually people start fighting or start being rude and saying things and then I have to start asking for donations because people don't know how to just be patient. This one's for Paige. What does Paige need to hear? What does Paige need to focus on? What can help Paige? <laughs> yes, peace and love only. page you got corals wisdom colony delicacy fragility works that are created over great periods of time just 
it's fine. You'll be able to see it. It's really pretty. So, let me get the well, handy dandy notebook <laughs> and see what it says in depth. Where you at? Where you at? It says, oh, how we love these tiny beings who gather and create Poseidon's castles and caves of wisdom. Their intricate underwater towers of red, gold, and softest pinks have taken over thousands of your human years to create, and yet you destroy them. And yet they offer you so much. Their healing powers are so strong and they can help all of us, including we mermaids of the present time, connect back, back to Atlantis, back to Lemuria. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why else would Buddha make coral one of the seven sacred treasures? For he found it restored his tranquility and serenity even under the most challenging of circumstances. Why else would Poseidon request the coral to create castles for the more folk? Hold on, I'm trying to get down to the... This is more like storytelling. With more folk to dwell within and learn from. A living building a wisdom temple that was truly alive no 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 let me see hold on baby they give to you so often as they wash up on the shore which begin wow this one's really long hold on it is said by some mermaids shared by some the mermaid shared some precious corals with the seamen they love to protect and bless them against sea storms and drowning however today it is no longer we mermaids choosing human farmers have depleted the red coral of the mediterranean this is like a for real big story hmm Are you like connected to the ocean whatsoever? <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't be sorry that it's long. I'm just trying to get like, it's more like storytelling about the coral's wisdom, but I feel like it's just saying that you have to have a connection with the coral. Or like, um, it is time to make some adjustments now for the highest good of all. Look into purchasing ethical goods, fair trade, eco-consciousness. There may be a reluctance to do so. A feeling that if something has already been destroyed, then what difference can your choices and actions make? But your every choice makes an enormous difference. And it's just, it's saying that you, I don't know if you have a strong connection with coral. Or that you should have a strong connection with coral or something. I don't know, I'm trying to figure this out. This one is not like the other ones. Because this one was like legit a story <laughs> about mermaids and coral and how it protects and stuff. Did mention tranquilly i feel like i need some of that <laughs> probably i feel like it has more to do with like the adjustments there's adjustments that need to be done for your highest good and i feel like you know what they are but it's kind of hard for you to to do them the coral urges you to slow down and wonder at the impact of your choices for the next thousand years okay no, no, no. collectively as humans individually as a legacy <coughs> for your future ancestors so I feel like it's just, it's more of like to stop and I got unlucky. Huh? I don't think I have any connection to coral. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know why. That one flew out for you. Hmm. And these don't really have that much in the pictures. But I mean, colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. I feel like it's just 
saying more for you to well I recently had to cut off some toxic friends I don't like standing up for myself it could be that it really could be that because it's like it's saying for you to like prepare for your future to do what is best for you ultimately and it's like the corals energy is there to help you through that type of thing even if you don't have a connection to the coral or to coral reefs or any kind of coral in general because it says works that are created over great periods of time and i feel like that just has to do with I'm very fragile so that resonates too okay well that works i took it as slow down and take care of herself or protect herself yeah that's basically what it's saying too like focus on future and on the just on the decisions that you make now because it will affect your future and i feel like you are making some tough decisions and it's going to be hard to make those decisions and to make more of those kinds of decisions but they are necessary and needed like you had said that you're cutting off toxic friends yeah <laughs> you're welcome i'm sorry the coral threw me off that one like legit had a whole story about semen about sailors and mermaids and i don't know what i was like whoa 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 what's going on <laughs> okay one more no not one more another person no. uh, Gigi asked if you want your usual at hummus express yes please growth in your environment oh yeah that's good that's a good one because yeah coral Anna, where are you at? I want to do one for Anna. So, she's still here. Yeah, she's still here. I'm going to do one for Anna real quick. I'm going to do a few more. No, don't worry. I'm going to do a few more. Listen, what does Anna need to listen to? What does Anna need to hear today? Anna Bananas. one before I even say it on here. I don't know why you always get the crazy ones. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, Anna. <laughs> you got divine sensu sense sensuality. 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 Like sensuality. <laughs> making love erotica it's only funny because I know her <laughs> it's very 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 pretty though I love this card so pretty so what it says is yes the mermaids are protectors and champions of sexuality and freedom allure and power to experience physical bliss is not a purely physical event there is an intimate connection that connects people who make love or kiss or even just shake hands who touch and when we exchange this great intimacy with another there is established with another there is established between us a strong energetic connection If you have drawn this card, it is likely you are ready to explore and dive into your own physical expression of bliss. It may be through making love with a cared for other, achieving greater intimacy in your relationships, or even experiencing blissful sensual moments while receiving a massage or dancing. But this card encourages you to reconnect with the love of your natural physicality and to explore the pleasure your sensuality can bring to you and to begin to understand and untangle any of the lingering cultural or personal guilt you may have about this. 
There are many beliefs in our culture, many taboos too, that women who enjoy sexual feelings and evoke them in others are impure, courting danger, threatening to themselves and to other women and dangerous to men. But the truth is we all have a seductress within us a mermaid-like being who dwells within our psyche and subconscious who is able to show us how to pleasure ourselves and others and how healing this sacred sensuality can be <laughs> no i didn't pick it personally <laughs> it flew out <laughs> oh, it's just funny <laughs> Uh, you saw it fly out. I didn't do it on purpose, but it's really pretty. Isn't it so pretty? I love the red and the roses and just, of course, she's a blonde. <laughs> it's me though. Thank you. Of course. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> no, not my pleasure. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Another person. It's cheating. No, it's not cheating because I didn't even look. It flew out. Let's see. Calm oh, down. I haven't even picked anybody. Okay, this one keeps falling out, so it's clearly for me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to share with you guys because this one has fallen out twice already when I didn't pick anybody. I'll pick somebody right now. But this one's mine Soul Cage rescue escape from captivity and restriction i need to say it so it'll stop falling out that's mine <laughs> okay let me see let me pick somebody um, i pick jane so Jane, what does Jane need to hear? What does Jane need to know? Whoop. There's Jane's. <gasps> Whoa. Almost dropped ya. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, this one's for Jane. And it is Water Flight. Very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful card. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. And then, what number is this? 14. I'm going to look for it in my book really quick. You see, in the world of water, we are light. We weigh less. The water holds us, suspends us. In the world of the air, we are left to fall to the ground to remain heavier. And the weight of our own bodies, organs, blood, and bone slowly crushes us. Similarly, if you humans live too much in the world of air, without the weightlessness and suspension, the support and the buoyancy of water, you can be crushed, weighed down, until you can barely breathe in anymore. You live so much in the world of air in terms of intellect too. The thought world dominates humans and you neglect the feeling world, which can sustain, uplift, and support you, allowing you in the realm of emotional imagination to do what your head says cannot be done, to take flight, to create story, to feel the depth and possibility of your lives, and to wonder. The world of air often crushes the life out of out of the dreams of water. Do not let this happen to you. So basically, <laughs> follow your heart. Be weightless. And enjoy the freedom of water, even though you're not in the water all the time, you know. Enjoy that freedom of, emo of emotional freedom, physical freedom, spiritual freedom. Enjoy that. You have it, and it's very much needed, so... I don't even know if she saw. Um, 
so basically i feel like it's more of just like let go and be weightless and not allow the world to crush you of course you're welcome okay next i'm gonna pick I pick Maddie. What does... Woo! Maddie. Okay, that one was aggressive. That one hurt my hand. I'm not even gonna lie, that one kind of hurt. <laughs> huh. This one's pretty. Okay, there she is. Um, so the card that you got, it says Imrama, Wonder Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, Journey of the Soul. So we're doing some, some soul searching. Let me see, what number is that? 45, okay. <laughs> this says, we come to sing to you of your own soul voyage that must take place now and urge you to take our hands and swim. Swim with us, sail next to us, paddle alongside us, and we shall show you the way to navigate the great currents and to traverse the world of the air and the world of the water. You have long divided yourself into your parts, your emotions. You keep so separate from your head. On Imrama, the lines you have so cleanly divided all into will blur and you will at times no longer know what is real or unreal but all the while we will sing you onwards calling you forth so you can continue to follow the journey of the soul prepare for sights that are wonders cre creatures who defy your imagination and discoveries about who you are you will gather so much and experience such awe that you will feel at times you may be dreaming but you are not you are embarking on an in rama and all that you encounter is the unknown. So you're going to be going on a, on a spiritual journey. You need to go on a spiritual journey. You might not know everything that happens along the way. You might not um, believe everything that you see, feel, hear, think, know, all that good stuff. But that's just the beauty of a spiritual journey. Everybody's is different. Everybody's is unique but it is definitely necessary for you to go on so that you can figure out who it is you truly are, what makes you happy, what makes you you, and focusing on yourself and really blurring those lines between reality and um, not reality, or reality and spirituality. Yay! Next, I pick Mia because she's Irish and I'm Irish. Yay! I'm not full Irish though, obviously. I'm only a little Irish. <laughs> On my mother's side. So Mia, what does Mia need to know? What does Mia need to hear? Mia, Mia, Mia. Oop. You got a beautiful card beautiful card so you got falling in love kissing the divine in another in yourself this is a very pretty card I love all the colors in this card super pretty um, I'm gonna get the book my goal is to visit Ireland one day I would really love to go and see it. It looks absolutely beautiful. 
All right. There may be no closer moment of connection, of utter merging with the divine than the experience we have called falling in love. It is so important we do this. We allow ourselves to be overwhelmed and we surrender to bliss, but also to the possibility of pain, of betrayal, of disappointment, and of dissolution disillusionment. Therefore, we mermaids urge you to fall in love, but to allow yourself to be real, honest, vulnerable, and to move on if this love becomes painful, unfulfilling, or continually a compromise. Falling in love is a divine miracle, truly. But there are stereotypes about how it looks, books with strange names like the rules and the ideal that gets attached to a person who has no idea what your hopes and dreams are. So foolish as it may make you feel, do not be cool. Be true to yourself. Fall in love with another and fall in love with your own honesty and vulnerability. Kiss the bliss, taste the nectar of love, and share the ecstasy, but also experience the utter breakthrough and freedom of honesty. I feel like that's something you really struggle with, is being vulnerable with people. And it's kind of just saying to do that, and if things don't work out for you to go ahead and leave that situation until you find somebody that accepts you and your vulnerability because that kind of love where you are able to be a hundred percent honest trusting and vulnerable with that person is the absolute best feeling in the world and you deserve it of course you're very welcome what time is it baby it's 6.41. 6.41. Okay. I'm going to get off at 7. So I have like 20 minutes. That's exactly me, OMG. <laughs> yeah. Or, I mean, 6.41. Wait, did I say 20 minutes? No, you said 40. Oh, okay. Okay, so I got like 20 minutes. So I'm going to squeeze in as many as I can in these 20 minutes. Because then I got to go. Hmm. Let me see, let me see. I love being able to do free ones. I love that nobody's fighting, that nobody's being negative about not being picked. Because I would love to do more free card pulls for all of it, for all of you. Let me see. I'm 79.5% Irish. That's so cool. I think my mom is like 60 some percent Irish and like English. That's what it was. My mom is a white girl. <laughs> mm. I'm going to do Chloe. Chloe, what does Chloe need to hear? Ooh. Ooh. All right, Chloe. Endurance, keep going. Very pretty. I love these cards. I love being able to do this because now I can see more of them. What number is that? 43. Okay, Chloe. <clears throat> when a long journey begins or when a quest is undertaken, <clears throat> be it a pilgrimage or an ambition or a desire or a dream that you wish to create in this earth world you live within human one there is the excitement of the beginning the unknown still lies before you and it is a thrill every moment to take another step forward but at some stage just as we tire you tire the terrain can become unfamiliar, issues arise, challenges greet you, and at this point too many of you feel that it is that it that this must not be meant for you. For you have told yourself that if it is truly meant to be, it will be simple, it will flow, and it will be well easy. <clears throat> we are here to share that for all creatures and in both the seen and unseen worlds there are parts of the great journey that require our stamina, our courage, and our endurance our ability to commit and to stay with a task and dream and promise until we have made it. Do not enter into agreements lightly. Enter into them 
if at all wholeheartedly and be prepared to develop your strength and tenacity, your courage and your honor along the way. Without what you describe as a challenge, there will be no growth. If you work through and into and with the challenges, you will emerge stronger and more able to realize the next dream. Flee at the first sign of difficulty and you will be what we call a shore hugger. Which a shore hugger <laughs> is one who never goes deep, who only goes to the places they know. So keep on trucking is what it's saying. <laughs> Journeys are not meant to be easy, and if you really want it, you can achieve it. You just have to go through all the bumps and um, bumps and bruises that are going to hit you along the way. But just keep going because you will be able to achieve anything you set your mind to. I hope it's a good cry. I don't like making people cry. <clears throat> Man, I was doing so good. Nobody cried yet. <laughs> just kidding i hope those are happy tears and i'm glad that it's something you needed to hear and i hope you keep going mm, i'm gonna do eat sell next <clears throat> oh no didn't fall out oh that one did though Ooh. how you got fertility potential powerful creative energy initi initi initiation energy okay so this, this doesn't automatically mean you're gonna get pregnant or you're very fertile it can but that's not the only thing that that's not the only message it could be like starting a new project starting a new dream you know giving birth to that dream to that project it doesn't always necessarily mean a baby it can, but it doesn't always mean that. What number is this? Eight. <clears throat> so let me see. All right. We mermaids are creatures who bring to you now a powerful force. The power to create, begin, initiate, and grow. Some call it fertility and they consider it to be only to do with the act of conception literally what I just said uh, you are now a fertile being a being who is ready and has all the energy and richness and goodness needed to bring forth and create bring forth a great project this is the momentum of decision for you will you use this great power and seek out what it is you need to seed your own fertile waters we mermaids say that it may be time that you have all that is needed desired to richly provide life to creations, ideas, people, dreams. It is now time for you to decide how this will be worked with, used and explored. You are a fertile, enriching being and new life and growth is ready to spring from your mind, your emotions, your body, and your soul. So if you have some ideas of brewing, right now is the perfect time to put all of your energy into it because you are at a really good vibration a really good um space to create something for yourself i don't know where she went hopefully i didn't scare her with the baby because it, it doesn't mean a baby it doesn't always mean a baby <laughs> wow i've been trying to work on myself and achieve my goals yes right now is perfect perfect time for you to like completely focus on your goals on your dreams on your you know the next step right now is a really good time for you to brainstorm that kind of stuff um i'm gonna pick Kristen next so Kristen, what does Kristen need to hear what does Kristen need to know what should Kristen focus on I hope I'm saying that right because I know some people say Kirsten, Kristen. I didn't, am I saying it wrong? I hope not. 
Kristen. Kirsten? Is it Kirsten? Oh, I didn't see that. See? Uh-uh. I got like, I must be dyslexic because the I before E except after C stuff gets me every single time, even though it's an I and an R. Oh, oh no, that was way too many cards. Yeah, that was way too many cards. Keep going. That was like four cards. Oh. Jeez. Still too many. No. Okay, we got one. So you got telepathy, nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, and mind reading. Very pretty. I love that they make a heart together. It's so cute. Very pretty card. So 30. Let me see what that says. I wish I just had like super good like photographic memories. I could just know these at the top of my head. That would be amazing. Okay. Once, once you could all speak without a sound being made and the sounds you did make were sacred, purposeful, full of intent. Now we hear you speak and speak saying nothing, using air to create sounds to fill a void but none of you understanding the hearts of others as well as you might. When you begin to reconnect with the sea and the shore and the creatures that swim and breathe in two worlds, you will begin to understand all people's and beings' communications. Without the words you love to use and use and use, there can be immediate empathy, transparency. All can be seen and so all was there, open, available to be known. I feel like you really hold on, hold on, hold on. broadcast telepathically broadcast messages across vast distances and were often linked via a silver cord of energy that would flow from the solar plexus through to other beings energy systems these cords plugged in across the, the miles oceans continu continents solar systems and galaxies So it's, hold on. it's a function of your DNA deactivation tragedy that you now have incapacitated your own ability to receive messages. So I feel like you maybe, have you ever been told that you are an empath or something like that? Because I feel like that's what it has to do with. Now in this lifetime, these ancient abilities you once possessed are returning. You are now beginning to comprehend and understand subtle energy, and you are able to see and read auras, telepathically communicate, and sometimes even know what will take place in the future. So you have some... You have some abilities flickering, and it's saying for you to embrace them. Embrace what you feel, what you know, what you think, what you, what you feel, all that stuff emotionally physically spiritually trust yourself trust your instincts because you're nine times out of ten you're right yeah i have okay yeah so it's basically saying for you to to connect with that more and focus on it more maybe meditate on it to help grow it to help encourage growth from it because it's like little by little happening for you and it's saying basically that you are capable of a lot more once you tap into that power that you have. What time is it? 53. Okay. I'm going to do one more person. Oh. 
Oh, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. Of course, you're welcome. Let me see. One more, one more. I'm gonna do Maggie. What does Maggie need to hear? What does Maggie need to know? Some good advice for Maggie. Oops. Ooh. Maggie, do you focus too much on the past and the future? <laughs> Is that, do you overthink a lot about it? Oh my god, I got so scared. I thought I had a pimple, but it's just my nose piercing. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm on here with a big old pimple. Yes, okay. <laughs> so your card, you got the present gift treasure re revelation of your of own value nowness she looks hardcore too with that tattoo she's hardcore so i feel like this is gonna have to do with focusing on the present living in the moment what number is that 12 okay that's what i'm guessing but let me see the present we have heard that in the warm semi-tropical waters of australia's Mer merton bay a group of marine biologists have recently recorded fascinating new interactions hold on <sighs> i hate when it does this When this card comes to you, you are being shown how the energy is being exchanged in the present moment. Beware the stranger who over gifts and whose agenda becomes clear over time. There is always an exchange and acceptance is not always necessary. You can always return a gift gracefully, especially when it is not a gift, but a bribe that may leave you feeling you have done a deal where the debt has yet to be called in and it will be called in and it will not be welcome stay free the mermaid's advice so be very very careful about your energy some gifts are not given with the idea of fair and equal exchange but with the idea of trying of tying you together despite your will to be free and separate examples of this are gifts from people who wish you to think and speak well of them publicly or who feel that their gift will buy them away into your world or enable them to receive something from you <laughs> so focus on the present and be careful of people offering you gifts or helps that want to help you but want something in return and i feel like you already know who i'm talking about <laughs> or what i'm talking about so i feel it <laughs> oh, of course you're very welcome thank you everybody i'm gonna hop on later maybe later tonight well, fingers crossed i might um if i have enough time I have to go take my kids somewhere real quick and then I need to record another video tonight but I appreciate all of you coming on to my live really quick if not I'm doing I'm gonna do another live tomorrow and I'm gonna do more readings tomorrow so but I'll, I'll do more readings tomorrow but thank you for joining my live I appreciate it have a good night good morning good evening whatever it is for everybody bye